Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, and it is that time once again, time to raid the latest Metalhead box. Uh, once again, the artwork on the packaging here is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, of course, obviously based off of Slayer. Um, I love that they're doing it like this and not having just, you know, plain old bubble envelope. It gives a goofy collectors like myself something else to collect because these are just too cool um i always try not to rip anything you know or cut anything inside the package whenever i was opening them to begin with but this gives me another uh reason not to do that and to be extra careful opening it and thankfully the uh, postal service did not put the little tracking sticker on this side like they have been for a while now so that's really cool made it a lot easier to uh, not have to worry about trying to peel the stupid thing off but if you are not familiar with the metalhead box by now it is a monthly subscription service for metalheads by metalheads each month you get a little well, used to be a box now it's a package uh, filled with uh, CDs um, there's a tribute uh, pin in each box there's patches you get um you can do vinyl boxes you can do tape boxes you can customize however you want you can do it all metal where you can get a little bit of everything you can do genre specific like i do all death metal uh, but you can do black metal doom metal thrash metal whatever you want yeah they even have uh other options where you can get uh just the music and uh none of the extra goodies or you might just get like a the shirt and some music and get some extra music in it you know they got all kinds of different options now it's really awesome to see how the service has grown um, i've been a subscriber since the third box i unfortunately missed the first two but luckily i got on board right after that and i've been a loyal subscriber ever since uh, a lot of people have complained well um i want to be able to pick what i get in my box well that's not the purpose of this this is a chance for you to discover possibly some new music um, and just get a lot of really cool stuff for a really decent price I think uh, when you think about it and it's all said and done, you get a lot of really cool stuff and you might find your new favorite band. Um, and if you're a collector like me, sometimes you get things you already have, which has happened, but then you can trade them to people that uh, you know or give them as a gift or you they've got a Facebook trade book, uh, group that you can uh, look for other people that are looking for stuff. And uh, you know, hell, take it to your local store, get some store credit. But yes, this month's box is again, once again, a killer. This is the uh, May box. It was my birthday box. Uh, starting off, we got this uh, Tribunal shirt that I've been wearing. I actually wore this uh, yesterday and I just put it back on so I can show it off in this video. And it's going to go in the laundry as soon as I get done. Um, really good band. Gothic Doom out of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Been around since 2019. They actually just released their debut album, The Way to Remembrance, uh, out on 20 bucks spin uh, back in January really good album i need to go revisit it. it's been a little while since i've listened to it but uh, yeah starting with the little tribute pin this month is pretty damn cool got i don't know if it'll focus very good but yeah the uh, figure off of dissections uh storm of the lights bane album from 1995 absolute classic in my opinion of course you know dissection were a uh, melodic black metal slash death metal band out of sweden uh, active between 1989 and 2006 um really good stuff really awesome pin and once again we get a tribute patch and i absolutely love this one uh, that is to the late, great Trevor Sternad of the Black Dolly Murder, who we unfortunately lost just last year. Um, yeah, really awesome patch. I love that they're doing it, uh, doing the patches this way now. All right, on to the music. Uh, this band is actually unknown to me. I did not know about this band until I got this. This is uh, Scalding with Exordium. And there's the back not much to show there got the cd and the band members there but yeah uh these guys are actually a, a black metal band out of vancouver british columbia not exactly sure when they formed there was no info on the metal archives but this is their debut full-length album uh put out by the metalhead box it doesn't say it on here that i could find anywhere um put out uh, just last year and um like i said it shows on the archives i think it's like um digitally and i think there might have been a cassette that was put out by the band but it didn't at first it didn't list this but then suddenly the last time i checked it popped up uh, and it said that it was put out by the metal head box but like i said it does not have the logo on there so i can't really confirm that maybe melissa and them can uh confirm that but yeah haven't had a chance to listen to this yet but really looking forward to it and uh the last cd i was really excited to see this in there because um we're actually getting this album 
hella early, and I'm very excited for that. But this is the new one from Begravement. Horrific Illusions Beckon. There's the back. The disc and the band members there. Uh, but yeah. Begravement, Death Thrash out of the St. Paul and Shoreview areas of Minnesota. Been around since 2018. This is their debut full-length album uh, put out by the band themselves. Um, but it's interesting about this version here, though. Uh, even though it's not a doesn't have a stick or anything, it says that it is a Metalhead Box exclusive. Now, this album actually doesn't release until August 11th. So we're getting this, like I said, hella early, which is really awesome. But this um, version that is coming in the Metalhead box actually has a smaller booklet than the independent version that's coming out in August. And I got that directly from Ezra from the band. Uh, I post, I had messaged him because I actually pre-ordered this when it first came out for pre-order. And I told him, I said, Hey, since I got this in the box, would you guys just mind signing my copy so I can have an autographed copy and this version? So it kind of makes up for it in a way, which for lack of a better term, I don't care. But he said, yeah, interesting note. He said the booklet in the uh, Metalhead box version is significantly smaller than the one that we're putting out. So technically a Metalhead version box, or Jesus Christ, Metalhead box version. But it, like I said, doesn't have the sticker on it to be an exclusive. But uh, still really cool to get this early. Cannot wait to jam this. Um, I have loved everything that Begravement has put out so far. But yeah, once again, absolutely killer box. Melissa and company have been uh, hitting it out of the park these last several months and for a birthday box because like i said this was the may box very happy with it so yeah go check out the metalhead box i will be leaving a link down below so you can check it out for yourself and also as you can probably tell i've got a little bit of a different angle going on here i'm trying to fiddle with some things and try to see how they're going to work in terms of being able to see my notes and everything that i have written down but i've had some people comment that they think that View that I normally have is a little unflattering, so they wanted it a little bit higher, kind of fa facing me head on. So we'll see how this works. Let me know what you think, and hopefully I can get it to work in the next few videos that I'm going to be recording today. Because like I said, you know, right now all this info I had written down on a cute a little flash card. I usually have a piece of paper, so we'll see how that uh, works out in these future videos. So yeah, go check out the Metalhead Box. Thanks again so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.